Mm-hmm. I think women are easily influenced than men. Go. That's what oh. I'm about to say. No, ain't no both. Mm. Stop oh. trying to be political. Man. No, ain't no both. No, no, no. no. Yeah, no. Yeah, 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 I mean, I'm going to back it up too. I'm going to back it up too. I didn't say all women. I say most women. Most women. But the thing about it is, why can't it be? 80%. You know why? Go ahead, Ken. I got my eyes. Go ahead. Like, as... Like, as Oh Lord yeah, Jesus! Yeah. Oh, my. It's crazy. Esther agrees. <laughs> yo, Esther agrees with me, yo. Esther, <laughs> I'm. I, I, I find myself like looking at things on TikTok. Mm-hmm. They go, I'm on Amazon or I'm doing something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lord, that hard you fix for me. I'll let another man break it again Waste of our time just to fantasize a life Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Late Night Love Ties 10.30 p.m. to midnight with Pastor Gabe and the Youth Believe Ministries You know what it is, man, we ten toes down Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, follow us on Instagram And make sure you like, 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 like on Facebook You know what it is, man, Late Night Love Ties Let's get it for that boy It's a lot of us, me I want to ask y'all a real question, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, are you guys, and this is an individual question, you know, do you guys consider yourselves living in the moment, dwelling in your past, or worried about your future? Worried about my future. I'm working on it. Yeah? Yeah. I struggle with the anxiety, just worrying about how everything gonna play out. I don't know why, cause I should know better by now, but still do it. Mm, mm. For me, um, I, I got, I got, I ain't gonna lie to you. For me, it's, it's, there's two. Uh, I'm in the moment and also uh, my future, because like I try to like capture uh, every moment to like make something happen. Yes, sir. So that way, you know, it could be beneficial towards my future. So like, for example, like if they say your nephew. Like, we need you to host or do something. At that moment, bro, bro, I'm, I'm going to go all in. You feel me? And live it up to the fullest. And because in my mind, I feel like you never know what can pop off out of that. You know what I'm saying? And it could be something later on down uh, in my future. I don't know if that makes sense, though, to y'all. No, I it makes sense. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, that's that's where I'm at with it. So it's like two things. Like, in the moment, I go all in. And at the same time, I'm like... You know what I'm saying? Good enough for the future. But it doesn't so. sound like you're worried about the future. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I'm not worried. I just, I, okay, I'm not worried per yeah. se. You're just thinking about it. I just think about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel like I live in all three, which is bad in a sense because you're not really supposed to worry about your past. But I always think about stuff like I could have changed. You know what I'm saying? And I know live not living necessarily in the past, but always thinking about the past kind of messes up your future because you're not really looking for it. It's hard to look at all three at one time. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But I'll, I'll reminisce about the past, live in the moment, and I got to make sure my future good for the babies. You know what I'm saying? 1,000%. Now, I found myself dwelling on that. Um, I, I asked somebody that question, and uh, I'm like, man, you know, I got to ask this on the radio, man, because in all honesty, I don't think we take the necessary time out to check on each, each other. You could be sitting next to somebody that's dealing with all type of stress in their real life, man, and you never know until you, you hear know. something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something bad, bad happens, and you like, damn, I wish I knew. I wish I could have, you see. know, at least been there for that person a little bit more. So, man, just be, be. I want everybody that with you tuned in, man. Just make sure y'all checking in on your family members, man, because you know, a lot of people are battling these secret demons. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nobody to know. Like, you gotta understand, it's a natural thing to have to fight. You know. But when you fight alone, mm. ah, that battle is an uphill battle. But, man, when you got family on your side, you put Christ for, first, things get easier. So you that which are going through something and are not telling individuals, man, just find you somebody that you can confide in and have those conversations. Because sometimes people don't have the necessary advice for you, but they can at least hear you out. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes getting stuff off your chest make everything rock a little better. No, I, I think. We have to do that daily, like all day, fight for our, you know, destiny and stuff. Yes, all man. day, every day. For your peace of mind, man. To yeah. be, hey, to be, I think, um, 
Honestly, bro, I think a lot of people, you know, they deal with that. Um, I think a lot of women who I came across, like, because of something that happened in the past, like, whenever it's a relationship or a friendship, like, they got this wall up, this big wall, you feel me? Uh, the wall, like, worse, like a bigger wall than the wall of China. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, combined with the wall of Jericho, you feel me? Where, like... <laughs> I think that's... I think that's... I, I think that's yeah, what I, I think I think it's the people in general, but I say from my personal experience, like the women I come across, right? Because um, I don't date men, so I can't speak for them. Well, I think you, you dating you went the wrong place. No, that's what I'm saying. Before before we argue, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is that from the women I come across, right, when something trauma happens to them, right, they could meet a great person, but because of that drama, that trauma that happened. They automatically block that guy. He could be the dopest guy, cool guy, because that experience messed up their whole psyche now. You feel what I'm saying? The guy could be a good guy, but she's putting that guy in the equation that happened to her in the past. But I'm saying, since I don't date girls, Correct. I'm saying, <laughs> what you saying, I come across guys that does the same thing. Not true with her. So, so, <laughs> so everybody. When you, what you saying, it could well, fit. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Both sides. Like he just said, some people are addicted to that. Maybe that's why I said maybe you should start dating girls different places. Wherever you was finding them, change well, your routine. But I don't think it's a routine thing because there's women in the church who's going through that, but they know how to hide it with a the makeup. They hide it around their friends. They hide it with fake smiles. You know, it's not like I met the person at a club or I met them at a you know a crazy place. It could be people yeah. that was fellow church members. That you don't know what type of stuff like Pastor Gabe was saying, these secret demons they're dealing with. You feel me? Until you start being around them, because what goes in must come out. Yeah. You feel me? When you start you being only, around somebody, you, can only you start, start really so seeing yeah. what it is because you can only hide it for so long. So it could be somebody, because you know, the common thing is as a believer, you should probably try to find somebody who's in the church that you go to. But little do people know, there are, there are some people at your church, or should I say a lot, who's going through that trauma, but they don't know how to deal with it. You feel me? They use, like, church as a scapegoat rather than actually, like, letting everything all out. So now if I'm trying to pursue this woman, right, at the church, who go to the same church I've been to, right, this wall, her own wall is up because of the past thing that she's going through because she's still human even though she's at the church. I agree. All right, man. So I'm glad that everybody in here is doing good. And sometimes I think everybody understands where they actually are. Sometimes you don't really need advice. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, you don't need to go sit in front of no counselor. You don't really need that. Sometimes we already know what we have to do. It's just a matter of, you know, actually putting that initiative and getting it into action. So That's we encourage y'all, man, to just, you know, go and live, man. Stop being in the hole. Stop keeping yourself in that box, man. Get up out that hole and get up out that box. Go live your life, man, like God intended you to. So for the first conversation of the night, man, as we go into late night love ties. Generally. Your friends are a reflection of who you are. Yes. Right? <laughs> Everyone has their own personality and traits, but ultimately, if they scammers, if you hang yes. out with a bunch of scammers, <laughs> more than likely you probably going to end up a scammer or know how to scam or you a scammer. So if they in careers, like college graduates, like more, more than likely you probably met that person in college. So, you know, you probably are in that same, you know what I'm saying, bracket with them as well. Um, for example... If a female hangs out with, you know, chicks that's out here living their best yes, life, I, yes. <laughs> um, you're going to look at her and think that she out here living her best life, too. Well. And uh, if a guy hang out with millionaires or basketball players, you're going to know he got something going for himself and vice versa, both ends. So I want to ask you guys, can an individual circle of friends make them more or less attractive to you? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Just like you were saying with the whole female stuff, like if you know she got a group of homegirls that's known for doing a particular stuff, you gonna automatically assume that she's on the same type of I beat agree. for sure. Even if she look you like she good, if you don't. nah. You, you exactly. You, yeah. What you gonna believe? She the only one that's special. <laughs> like she not on it. Not only that, like even if she was a good girl, right? Right. Eventually they'll turn her. You know what I'm saying? Cause they already around mm. that. Turn herself. Bro, that's a concept. They turn her. I mean, 
<laughs> you turn yourself, but they basically turn. Influence, like influence is yeah, real. Exactly, yeah. it's very strong. Yes, hey, bro. listen, that's confirmation. Uh, my pastor was in preaching today, but it was uh, uh, one of the fellow members was preaching. For example, if I stand up, right? If I stand up, get that boy on camera now, man. Get him on camera, man. If I if I stand up, and let's say I'm surrounded by people who scamming, living a like an evil lifestyle. Right, if I'm standing up trying to do the righteous thing, but all my friends, right, is doing that evil stuff, it's easier for them to pull me down. For example, let me see your hand. She's easy to pull me down and sit down rather than me trying to lift her up. In other words, when you're surrounded by people, you feel me, who's doing things of that nature, mm -hmm. it's quicker for them to pull you down yes. because it's a whole bunch of hands grabbing you, of course, versus a whole bunch of hands lifting them up at that situation. So, so in other words, if you're neutral with your friends, what they know, you agree with them. Yes. And also, um, what's that one word? You're enabling them. Yes, enabling e them. Sure. Even though if you say, oh, I don't do that, that's what she do, but she's still my friend, and you know what's wrong, it's pretty much saying, it's all right, just don't do it over here. That's like saying, you could kill him, but not in front of my house, just do it yeah. over there at the person's yeah. house. Like, like you know what this person's engaging in, but you never speak any positivity into their life. Like. Right. Yeah, no, I agree with what he said, but at the same time, for me, when you said, am I going to be attracted to that person? Like, does that be, affect the attractive? Like, See, the thing about it is, like, you could have a friend, like you said, that's messed up, that you know they're doing mm -hmm. foul things, but you keep it as in, like, because they say there's different levels to friendship. Mm -hmm. You could keep it as in, like, hi, how you doing? That might be, you might be that person that they call you know, to ask for good advice. Of course. You might be that friend that they actually want to, you know, check themselves before they go do something. Understood. But the thing about it is if you have full knowledge of them doing someone wrong, like scamming someone, mm -hmm. and you over here continue to advise them, rather it's like you're giving them good advice, sooner or later you should pull yourself back because obviously they don't respect you enough to take your advice in the first place. I'm telling you. And I don't believe anybody I could pull anybody down. No, no, yes, they because can. Because I feel like you may not, it, they're weak. If somebody, if you are weak mind, person, negative for some reason, right? For whatever the reason may be, in all honesty, right? Like we know Christ is everything. Mm -hmm. We know God is great. Negativity in this world and society today is stronger than positivity. That's um, true. Like when you just think it's like about our natural mindset, actually, like that. Yeah, I don't even say negativity; just right? sinful yeah, nature. That's what I'm no, but I'm yeah. talking. About, I'm yeah. talking about actual negativity. Like I can literally come in this room, and Neff could have got compliments by 30 people, guys and females. I come in and say, "Boy, them, them glasses ugliest." Like you feel me? <laughs> He gonna, will feel that. He he, feel that's that. all he gonna hear. That's what's yeah. He might start. He might take them off. He might look at it. He might start. He, he might forget the whole conversation and think, damn, why the boy said my glass yeah, was ugly? Glasses but thirty ugly. other people said they were good. Like negativity just it stick with. It has yeah. a pull. You know but what I'm for me, it's like it's, it's negativity and influence. Like I yeah. could tell him his glass is nice, and then he decided to buy a different pair, even though I told him it looked nice. That's you true. Told him that it looked good, and he's like. Okay, well, since you said it looked good, he's going to buy it because you said it, but he didn't buy it when I said it. Mm -hmm. That's about that different. Advice. But yeah. the thing about it is... The power influence. Being negative by saying, oh, I hate it, it's ugly, whatever, that's two different things for me. You could nah, be in a I, room with a group of negativity people and you... Do, yeah, you will get sucked in because it's One so thousand. strong. But influence, I think, if you're a strong-minded person and you are rooted already... You should know better not I, to. But, but I agree, but I disagree. In that department. Okay, so in other words, all right, Cam, before you jump in. So, in other words, if the person's well rooted, they got to remove themselves yes. from that crowd. Yeah. But if that person is well rooted, but they don't remove themselves. That I means they're the same. So, in other words, right, they're going to get drunk to get, them. To, get to them. That's no, they I'm wasn't influenced. They was already like that. No. It was already in them. No, 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 no. What I'm saying. Influ no. Influence gets, no. like, everybody's raised by two good parents. Like most of the vodka boys that I know, they have good parents at home. They mom right. is in church. You know how they say, give them Sunday yes. salad. No, I'm saying they, they mom in church heavy. Yeah. <laughs> but just hit these streets and yeah. influence. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like, like we're you don't think they had that, a lot that, of that bad seed in them already? They may have, mm -hmm. they, had, they got exposed to it and that was an influence. The moment that you right. exposed to something, it's going to cause some type, because seeds have to grow. You feel me? Like right. if I plant that seed, 
they not only that, that happens, it's, it's, it happens. it's more like how can it sound crazy, but it's more fun. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like it's, be a part. No, that's not crazy. That's fact. That's not being a, not being a part, feels but feels good. Yeah. There you go. By Sin doing good. bad and like mm-hmm. stuff like that, it's, I don't know if it's the adrenaline or what it is, but it it, it actually like exciting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you'll do that because if you're doing good, not saying it's not bad, it's kind of boring. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Depending on what you're doing, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. But most of the time. Too. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, no, I get I get what Judith is trying to say. You feel what I'm saying? But like it it would be different if the scenario was like, okay, I'm not friends with these people, right? But I'm trying to influence them by the way I live my life versus being friends with you, knowing that you're doing negativity, knowing that you're involved in all types of wishy washy, nasty con artist thing, and I'm supposed to be representation to you. Yeah. And one of the biggest problems that the church has is that as they let culture influence them the rather than influence influence hey, culture? Like, Culture's influencing the church, yeah. right? Yeah. So the thing that's is, real. and that's an issue because we're supposed to influence them. Think about it, right? Yeah, we supposed the, to be the light. We're yeah, the, 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 the Bible tells we us that we're the, we're the light. World. We're the yeah. salt and light yeah. of the world, right? Mm-hmm. If you eat food, there's gotta be salt in it, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's just the physical Unless aspect. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Unless you're moon blur. but you feel me? But the point I'm trying to make is that. If we have power, mm-hmm. the Bible tells us that the same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead also lives inside of uh, us. Yes, yes. Then why are we letting culture, tradition in the world influence us influence. when it's supposed to be the other way around? Exactly. I want to share. No, that I think. Story. No, I one thousand. But that's the reason that I wanted to bring this conversation up because. I don't think in like especially today where we live in a world where people don't want to hurt people's feelings. That's what I was about to say. So people actually keep our mouths shut. People are hanging yeah. out with people mm-hmm. just because they don't want to like like elevate. Dog. Like elevation right. is actually a good thing. If you elevate, bro, you can't let nobody knock you and you should not let anybody dictate and, what you want to do next for. But I ain't gonna lie, Miss Judah. I wanna hear what the queen got to yeah, say real I, quick. Real quick. This ain't this isn't my personal testimony, but the church I used to go to, um, there was an upstanding deacon of the church and everything, right? Like mm-hmm. More like, of course, you don't know his business business, but from what we all saw and witnessed over the years, I mean, a very, you know, deep man of God and everything, mm-hmm. like legit about his faith. But he shared one time that he used to have a trouble with alcohol, alcoholism. And he said that even to this day, even after being Christ for so many years, even though he got delivered from it, he wouldn't step inside a bar yes. because he knows his weakness. Yes. So with that, I want to add that sometimes we can't, even as Christians and Jesus believers and yeah. Bible thumpers and whatnot, we can't have such a big ego and put too much trust in ourselves. Yeah. There's some environments we just shouldn't be in. Yeah. Not me so either. there's certain yeah. friends Beautiful. we shouldn't hang yeah. around with if, that if we have a particular weakness. Now, God may anoint us for certain situations. To be the calling, you know, but you're supposed to be the yeah, light in the room. Exactly, because I don't have trouble with drinking and smoking. I've never been attracted to that. Even mm-hmm. as even before I got in the church, that was just never really my thing. Mm-hmm. So I could stand amongst alcohol, um, alcoholics and everything and be, you know, so not be no influenced pressure. by mm-hmm. that because that's just not my thing. Mm-hmm. But, you know, just because I'm Jesus believer, I can't go around other sins and yeah. think I could, um, I agree. I'm sorry, be in there and think that they won't influence me. You know what I'm saying? So... Yes, I, I mean, do but scri- believe that like, that, that's, that's, that's like, but scripture tells us that we, yeah. we're not supposed to put the Holy Spirit to the test. Yeah. yeah. So like in a lot of those moments, like you literally are testing God. Like, right. You got to like, know where you're sent versus where you just send yourself. You, you telling yourself wow, that you, um, yeah. you tell yourself that you don't want to have sex, right? What, what's it called? Being what? Absolute. Celibate. Right. Celibate. Yeah. So yeah. if you, in abstinence, like, yeah. stu- like, you feel me? Practicing abstinence. So if you are practicing abstinence, my brothers and my sisters, you ain't supposed to be in no room with no chick, Dolo. Like, if you find yourself in a room with a female, or you and a female, you with, in a room with a guy, and it's just y'all two, something's going to happen. Facts. You yeah. understand me? And so, even, like, you're supposed too, to even... avoid those situations, because you could be prayed up. <clears throat> but like what Sister Esther just said, that prayer will not have an effect when you are physically in that moment. Yeah, you, you have to literally hear the spirit tell you leave. The spirit told you don't even go. Mm. And you, you still were, go. You yeah, skipped all that and still made yourself there. And now you want to tell God, help me like pro. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, like, you there. Yeah, you, you there. Yeah. I agree with her 100%. Because the thing about it is, like I was saying, if you already know that this individual is foul, mm-hmm. And you have witnessed this person scam other people, did people wrong and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even if you're telling that person, no, 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 like, I'm calling you on the phone saying, man, don't do that. Man, don't do that. Sooner or later, 
you should not be able to contact me and for me to be hanging out with you and doing so. I should be able to remove myself mm-hmm. from you, not because of the fact that I hate you or whatever. Organic. But I, but I, I need to move my, remove myself. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Like, um, I agree with you 100%. Uh, the question I'm about to ask you, I just want the world to know, like, how does that look like? Like, like, give me an example how to, let's say, for example, like, you're close with that friend, right? You guys grew up together, but then it's like, you start seeing that the patterns are just not right. How do you remove yourself? Is just it by being honest with your friend. Like, do you call them? Do you guys link up and tell them, like, yo, I got to remove myself from you? Like, how does it look like? Uh, yes. How, However... You feel like everybody individual, yeah. their relationship, you already know that person. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So if it's somebody that y'all text each other all the time and stuff like that, like Pastor Gabriel always talk about not burning bridges. Okay. I'm not saying you, you're judging the person by saying I'm better than you or whatever, mm-hmm. but that individual, your light should be shining so bright. Mm-hmm. When you come to have that conversation with your friend, mm-hmm. they should know, man, Gabriel, is not about that life. When you come to speak to them, mm-hmm. yeah, some people ego are gonna get hurt or whatever, but your light needs to be right for yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A and lot I of mean, people. What we have to always remember is that most friendships are like, do, it's shared interests. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Most people are connected through shared interests. So yeah. Once you like find the light and start to realize, like, I don't feel, I don't smoke no more. Like, yeah. I don't do it. I ain't hitting the club no more. Like. Little by little, organically, you guys would just separate and only connect in moments that we yeah. just share interest for. Whatever that. it is, yeah. what, however cut, your you friendship ain't cut but, nobody but else. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's like, like no love loss. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody see different progression. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If y'all not going to meet each other at a certain point, I got no choice but to get away. Exactly. You, know what I, 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 you, you probably have friends that you haven't linked up with for years. And out of nowhere, you meet up with them, and it's like, Y'all never missed a day. Facts. Because so, you didn't exactly burn no bridges. But can, but can right? we so, say... Real, but can, real, real quick. So oh. let's take a step back and get back to this conversation. All right. Um, and I, I love the fact that where we actually just took it because that's a great conversation and that shows how the Holy Spirit moves. We came here to talk about relationships and, and love and we started to preach to people. <laughs> to let you know, like, there's certain, you know, you have to be okay with saying no and you yes. it, it's okay to grow out of Check a certain situation. But to get back to this right here, how do you feel about it, Queen Esther, in regards to do you think that an individual circle of friends can make them look more or less attractive to you? It could be less attractive to Well, yeah, less or more. Um, Like, for the less part, I think my thing is, okay, you might not be doing that stuff, but how are you okay mm-hmm. hanging out with people that do that stuff? And I'm talking about your downtime. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about coworkers and people you go to church with or play basketball. I'm talking about chilling and yeah. hanging out mm-hmm. you can hang out with that like that doesn't bother you enough to separate yourself you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so that would be less attractive because then let's say we get in a serious relationship and i'm uncomfortable with the friends are you gonna stop hanging with them as much for me yeah that might be a fight that i'm not trying to have and you, you get should, what i'm you saying should, you shouldn't be put in a position to tell a person you can't hang out with certain people no more um, right um, that's what i'm saying so it would um it could definitely affect my like if they were there before you like can exactly you, really tell you don't them want to be the one to be like <laughs> oh she's a hater <laughs> you know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. i feel like yeah. chilling and being active with the person is two different things yeah yes yeah that's you know what i'm saying chilling. that's like I know, I, I agree with you yeah. saying because you might think, oh, that well, that's what that person on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, yeah, you could chill with the person when they're about to go to their activities. Y'all disperse. Yeah, you feel me? And it, I'm kind of contradicting what I said before mm-hmm. with the whole female thing. If you're hanging out with thotties, yeah, I'm gonna thank you a thot. Bir- birds you know of a saying? feather, birds of a feather. But in that, ah, it's hard. To, uh, so for you, it don't really have an effect. Oh, yeah, it do. Like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think it's different between men and women, I think. Okay. You know oh. what I'm saying? What, what's the difference? The reason why is the influence that we were talking about before. Mm-hmm. I think women are easily influenced than men. You go. That's oh. all I'm about to say. No, ain't no both. Mm. Stop oh. trying to be political. No, no ain't no both. No, no, no. Yes, I did. I'm going to back it up, too. I'm going to back it up, too. I didn't say all women. I say most women. Most women. But the thing about it is, give a ratio 80%. 80%. You know why? Go ahead, Ken. I got my mind. Go ahead. Like, as... Oh Lord yeah. Jesus! Oh, my. <laughs> it's crazy. That's <laughs> <Esther> agrees. 
<laughs> yo, Esther agrees with me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Esther, I'm. I, 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 I Esther. Myself, like, looking at things on TikTok. Mm-hmm. There you go. I'm on Amazon or I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, but a lesser like number. Like, no, it, that, that's a difference of influence. He's talking about like when he was saying about the top, the the, the girl being a thought or uh-huh. whatever. The top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I think works in all aspects. Yeah, that yeah, is, influence I in general. Yeah, here's like listen, in general. Because that was just that was more so. I can't I'm ever not, get I'm not specific. Nobody that specific. Yeah. specific. Specific. You got it. At the ocean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Specific way, specific. That's funny, man. <laughs> you feel me though? It's just like, I just feel like women know how to tell a woman to like cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. Not just cheat, but like be a thought. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you might be different. I'm not. I'm not saying you can't disagree. Yeah. But I feel like women know what to say to the woman. Like, oh, look at him. He does say he da 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 da. A dude. If you don't like the girl, you don't like the girl. You can't tell me nothing and be like, oh, that girl, she got a big booty. I don't care. Look at her face. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? <laughs> but a girl can find something. Or oh, he got money. Or he da da da. Or they're I more mean, intricate. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, they wow. get into it. You know what I'm saying? And it's it. with it. And here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. We're not saying that to bash women. Like, I don't want people to make it seem like, oh, we're saying it's to bash women or men are this no, or men are that. But, but, I, but I, the thing is, so. But I know it's like my friendship and people. I know. But the thing is, though, when he was saying that, like, because he compared it to another scenario. Exactly. So what I'm saying is that, like, compared to that scenario, what I'm trying to say is that I strongly believe, because I work in the media department, I strongly believe that women are more influenced than men easily. You know why? Because Chris Brown can come up with a song and say, D and loyal, and women are going to buy it. And don't be loyal. And, 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 and they don't care. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know why? Because it's Chris Brown. Yeah. As men, bro, like, if I ain't rocking with this, bro, I ain't rocking with it. It is what it is. We go about our business. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? Like, no lie. Women are the type, like, Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I'm not saying all. You might be a special case, Judith, and glory be to God. God might have sent you for me. I don't know. But all I'm saying is, though, like, let's be real. Who do you think? Okay, wait. Like, like, no, who do you think? Like, who do you think the people who's in this media business who are they targeting, bro? Women. To have them to, to buy the tickets in their record women sales, bro. Kids. Women. women and the kids, bro. Because at the end of the day, whatever the whatever the mother tell that child, that child go that child gonna listen and remember so, before man. that daddy says, "Come on, man." Queen Ashley, do you agree that women are more easily influenced? Mm, I feel like I don't I don't have enough. Uh, data or experience <laughs> to disagree but at the same know, time i'm not convinced it, look at it now like i'm not convinced bring this up. All, every single female i know wear the same hairstyle mm. we all follow the same not, stuff not, not every single most hairstyle. no she's, she's, yeah. she's, she's not she's not, not yeah. around your age exact, but then i see all these guys stuff. with these pants thank you thank you what about the tennis shoes the tennis shoes that came from my chain you know what I'm saying? I so why, why, why they we speak him now? They're the exact <laughs> same. They're all three. Like, did not just see this, bro? Walk no, I feel what y'all saying. saying. So but I feel like... I feel like... I feel like... I feel that I feel like... I feel like... But this is what I'm saying. The same black t-shirts. Men, Everything. It actually stick with the men. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Women, y'all switch it up every Easy. time. Exactly. If a new thing that's come it. out with a that's female, it. y'all switch up to that. That's it. Yeah. Dudes, that's that's whatever they cool, they y'all. stick to that. Bro, you know listen. Know they know it. Listen, that's what I don't know. It may look like all the dudes doing it because they probably stuck to that from back in 04. Thank you. But the women, but here's just kept like that. Hey, no, let's be real, bro. To this day, bro, there's some dudes I know, bro, they stick to the white tin and the black tee. That's it. Because it's easy to put on. Yeah. But they're not gonna go ahead and listen. Women are the type they go on the phone. Oh my god, you see what she's wearing? Oh yo, look, we gotta get that on. I yeah, t- hold on. I'm going yeah, to get that on. Yeah. So, so, women. Women. so like yeah, most like women, old, most uh, women. Most women. Old school Bro, clothes. I got feelings. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I give you a caption. Uh-huh. Most women, eighty percent of them. I'm gonna say most. That's my ratio. <laughs> I believe it's 80, 85. Right, right. 80. we'll talk. No, because the thing is, so that, that's very interesting, though, man. The fact that that I, I can't even argue right now. Like, I, I think women are more influenced, but than men in this culture, like, 
Really? Especially with I don't that. I think it's just influence too. Like they be taking advice from women. Like he was. That's what I was not saying. Not women though. Not on because a lot of the, a lot of women are taking that advice. Now they taking that advice from Kevin Samuel. So yeah. no, 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 no. But you know why though, right? A lot of women question but you, themselves. But you, but you, but you know why? That, I think that's a that's a that's a mental. But thing. hold on, you know why though, right? Battling stuff a lot. But no, you know why women are taking advice from Steve Harvey, and Kevin Samuels? Because other women are doing it. Mm. <laughs> I don't take advice from him. Like, don't you? No, like, some of y'all. I don't take my advice from him. You're, you're yeah. part of it. But it's think like a man, act like a woman. Married, when that right? came out, yeah. think like a man, act like a woman. Every woman was trying to. Not every woman. Most. Okay, most. Most. Most, okay, most, most, I most saying, of you're them. You're part of the 20%. That's the part of the 20%. Different. But yeah. it's. But <laughs> we're saying in general. Ladies, y'all know your species, man. Y'all know I'm not somebody that'll ever, like. But I think that don't play a role in following behind what people. Do mm-hmm. but I do follow trends. Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so you want to know something? The thing about it is, I feel like what Gabriel first started off by saying that the group of people. I think if you surround yourself with strong-minded individuals, and you're not surrounded by people that's easily influenced by buying whatever, whatever addiction that you think that you know changing the hairstyle because everybody have the same hairstyle everybody have the long lash everybody have the tattoo everybody have this mm-hmm. the thing about it is if you are a unique human being mm-hmm. and you surround yourself with strong minded individuals that's also unique in their own ways uh, you won't be so easily influenced, influenced but by you stuff are. that don't but you are, now you're influenced by people that are with you. Exactly. But I, you know what? <laughs> I think God created like that yeah. so we could influence each other and That's be why a, he says a village be, don't yourself. Be so it's not, it's not really a bad thing to be influenced. It's just who you're influenced by. by exactly. That's why they say um, don't forsake the assembly of the saints. You know, so you could mm. be influenced by the positive. So I mean, I God agree. didn't raise, uh, create us to be alone in an island. So one thousand percent, we are supposed to impart into each other. So it's nothing wrong with being influenced. And I believe really, a lot of people it. like the same stuff. It's not yeah, that much it's, difference it's, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, my yeah. thing is, if you're not stealing it, you're not killing anybody for it, and you want it and you like it and you could afford it, you're not gonna go sleep under a bridge after you get it. Mm-hmm. Then do you? But you probably. St- Still saw it on somebody else. Somebody else. Oh, you. Somebody saw it. Yeah. Nah, all right. That's what I'm saying. When I came here, when I came to Florida, back to Florida, and I was rocking gray hair, there was a whole bunch of people that I was in the same room with that was telling me I looked like an old lady and all these other stuff. Literally, a couple months later, I yeah. found so many people with gray hair. Yeah. I can't say it's me that no, they had saw it on. They saw it on okay, somebody else and but they not, did it. But where you saw it from? Wait, wait, wait. wait where are you saw it from? But what I'm saying, I'm saying if you had like it, I'm saying if you're influenced by something, you're saying it's because you was influenced by it, but it's something that's good for you mm-hmm. and you like it and it's not going to kill you mm-hmm. and you decided, okay, I'm going to go get my hair braided just like that girl and then yours came out looking better than hers or the same and you like it, where did your gray hair come from? That's being influenced. All right, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm wait, gonna give wait, you. A, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, I'm, that's, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm, I know. I'm saying. I'm saying, saying yes. You could be influenced, but no, why yeah, have to be a negative? Yeah, 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 See, I'm politically being political right now. Answer the question. Where did you get it from? Did you wear gray hair because it just grew out your head? You say, "Oh, this is cute." No, did you? I started wearing gray hair because I just love looking at old people with gray hair. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Is if it's something negative, if it's something bad, like you conning somebody and you around people that's doing foul things, and you say that person is gonna influence you to be foul, it's because you was already foul. Sometimes it'd be a phase. True. Another thing too. <laughs> hey, no, I don't know what else to do. No, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. No, I'm gonna give you a perfect example, right? I'm gonna yeah. give you a perfect example. In this in this day and age, right? This generation, right? The city girls has a lot of influence on the young oh, ladies. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause you know why? Cause every time I talk to a young lady, everything she say is period. What she got oh, yeah. there for? Yeah. You don't know, but yeah. how you it's know it? It's not even from the city girls. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying they started it. No, but because no, what I'm saying is though, they made it known. They made it known. Yeah, we ain't got that, That's not an argument, bro. Like that, they have influence, even if bro. They have yeah. influence, but that's not. From no, them. yeah, but that's what? not the argument. They got that argument. period thing came from them. No, it did not. Well, no, they 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 I feel like Esther went on over you, boom. Exactly. No, what I'm saying is though, they made it. They made it. No, they made it known. I, I like think, you said, they made it worldwide. They made that thing known. It was started for some other. Oh, yeah. Some yeah. Of course, everything started for some other. But I'm saying, though, ever since City Girls been saying that on the shows a lot, girls been talking, you can well, see in their posts. The period. Period. Well, period. And I'm like, what? Well, Tony, what? 
So with that being said, man, um, we do All understand, right. and I think I agree. I agree at this moment that influence is a, a natural thing. And um, even in this question that I asked, like, is it more or less attractive? We've been focusing on how less attractive it can make an individual because we, we're thinking about them hanging out with people with that type, those type of characteristics. Would it be more attractive if you see an individual hanging out with people that are successful? Like, would, well, let me ask the men first. If you see a woman that's hanging out with people that which are on their grind, like actual, you know, independent business women, is that more attractive to you? Yes, definitely. Because, like I said, I would assume mm -hmm. that you're on your stuff too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That you're pursuing to get better if you're not there yet. You know what I'm trying to tell you? So it's, it's hand in hand with the negative and the positive. If I see you around positive people, I believe that you're doing positive stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, yeah, that is attractive. Of course, you would want somebody that got their head on straight right. and at the end of the day get some money too with you. You know what I mean? I agree with um, Ken because um, personally, I, if I see her you know, with people who's, like, trying to build something, even if it's not established, but they actually put an effort, doing research how to make something happen, that just tells me that this is somebody who's willing to put in work and effort on what they're trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's so easy to be around someone to be like, I ain't doing this, right? And because y'all so close, y'all fall into the same, you know, circle. Mm -hmm. But for, to have somebody to motivate you, right? A friend to be like, yo, this is what I learned. And y'all sharing thoughts, y'all sharing different ideas. That's a beautiful thing. Yes, so when I come around your friend, you know what I mean? And like, I can learn from her too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I think it's important and very attractive that, you know, if she's around people who's actually like, you know, successful or trying to be better, you're learning, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like that because so it shows that you're elevating. Would you be intimidated though? Hell no. Not at all. No, I think men who are intimidated are men who are insecure That's when it comes to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. all right. Because think about it, right? Like, here's the so, thing. No, the reason, the reason I asked that question is oh. because I want to shift it to the women. Like, would that make, I want, and I was trying to think of, I guess, uh, vice versa for men. That's why I asked you in that sense. Yeah. But a woman that sees men that, which are, you know, that hang out with successful people, or maybe they're actually hanging out with basketball players, NBA, NFL stars. Is that more attractive to a woman? It is to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what makes it more attractive is too, is he could have, he could naturally be on his own grind, mm -hmm. but when you form friendships around with people who are like-minded, like when you have a weak moment or when you're going through a rough time in your life, who are you naturally going to turn to? The people you form bonds with. Right. And so if you form bonds with people who are hustlers and whatnot or millionaires and stuff, naturally going to tell you, no, nah, man, remember what we were doing last week? Like, get back up on it, whatever, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you guys already have that personal bond. Mm -hmm. So you're going to turn to them with your troubles, and then they're going to come back to you with, you know, the, the good advice and stuff. They're like, oh, man, just, they won't be like, oh, man, let's just take a drink and, and right, smoke right. it all away. You know what I'm saying? 1, so, I mean, See, um, it is attractive to me in that sense. And mm -hmm. I'm not attracted to an individual that I know who he is by himself. Okay. Because I hear what you guys are saying, but... That girl could just be that girl that's carrying the bag. Okay. She might not even be the girl that's going out there to get the bag. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a group of girls coming out of the mall and you see that one girl with a whole bunch of bags? She probably don't even have one bag of those bags that belong to her. That's true. But who's but my, she? My, my thing is, what I'm saying is, yes, it's always good to have someone you can call yeah. on. And when you have your weak moment, you should have a circle or a group of people, two, three, or whatever people mm -hmm. you can call on and be like, hey, if I call Pastor Gabrielle and say, hey, tell mommy I'm coming, I could, she will literally sit at the house all day and wait for me because she knows that I need to hear a word from her. I could call my pastor and say, I need to speak to you. But the thing about it is you have to know your weakness and you have to know who you are as an individual. So when you're dating someone or you attracted to whoever it is you're attracted to, you're not falling with, oh, they have friends, influence friends. I don't, I'm not attracted to someone that have to go and hear a speech mm -hmm. and have to be motivated by someone else I to go and get that. theirs. Because I don't want nobody to put too much confidence in themselves. No, it's, it's not just, too much confidence yeah. in yourself. No, I, I think you okay, gotta, I to so. Hold on, yeah, I think, I, I, okay, I, I, I understand what Judith is saying. Be motivated by somebody but else. Over, but overall, I don't think, I don't think that's... <laughs> Like, here's the thing. I, I understand what prideful. I understand yeah, what Judith is saying, to be too but at the same like, time, right? Like we're not talking about that. Okay, 
we're not talking about you know people who are you know who are leeching mm-hmm. from right. others i'm not talking right. about somebody who's just around mm-hmm. just so they can say oh i got successful friends mm-hmm. and they ain't learning nothing we ain't talking about that you know, I'm talking about someone, right? Who's active, who, like, who's, active who's serious, yeah, right? Because of course they know who themselves are because they wouldn't be around these people. Yeah. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you want to put yourself in a position with people that's not going to help you grow. Mm. So when you're around these certain, let's be real, your environment has to do a lot with your character. I don't care what you say. You're right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, that's just what it is. Because sometimes it's not to say that we're supposed, like, we should try to do this, but sometimes you just don't fit in that circle exactly you know what i'm saying so for example like okay if i see you around you know a bunch of church folks right the first thing that's come to my mind i never met you in with a can of paint i'm like okay she might go to church yeah of course you feel me now i will get to know you to see what are you doing at the but church the initial thought is birds of a feather flock yeah. together okay yeah. so that's what i'm saying so i feel like in some cases there are some people who's holding up that bag right mm-hmm. but even then you got to be careful because that person who's just holding the bag, that's not the end of their story. Right. At that moment, you may see them holding that bag, exactly. but who's to say she's not taking notes for them to have their, their own bag? That's yeah. the whole thing about influence. Was, right. Yeah, that, I was that, thinking that, like... You got to be careful, though, if, because... If they're around the, the wrong crew, they might help that person get a you bag they sell. That's right. mm-hmm. I mean, I, I hear that's it too much, much bro. Is, exactly. Is in. Uh, I hear so. it too much. They say if you hang out with four millionaires, you're going to be the fifth one. Yeah. Because if you don't, like, what are you sitting here for, bro? Exactly. You don't think... Somebody could be around all this great influence, and that person don't have a motivation themselves already. They might get nah, but they're they're just just like, go like, in there. But, but like, like, you look at him like you don't like fit. Like but 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 hanging out without him. But here's yeah. the thing. But here's the thing. Eventually, though, here's the thing, though, right? Even if that person, right, mm-hmm. let's say they might not end up being a millionaire, right? Mm-hmm. But they're gonna they're gonna gain something, of course, I mean, yeah. because yo, I don't care what you say. You can okay. like, for example, the just cause limit. the way like the way I look at it is this, bro. It's kind of like clothes. Mm-hmm. If you go into a subway and you stay there for like a good ten to fifteen minutes, by the time you get out, you might smell like some you bread will. and cheese. You will. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you don't work with them, I agree yes. with that. You feel like, what I'm saying? Like you, you like <laughs> even beautiful. even That's beautiful. That's I like facts. that. I like, I like that. Like Pope Daddy. I'm not even arguing that right there. <laughs> when she came with that <laughs> analogy about holding all the bags and stuff, yeah. Pope Daddy was that type of person. Mm-hmm. Well, he was the do boy. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But him hanging around all the millions and stuff, you get connections. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Network. Somebody might like the way, oh, he held that bag. Let me see if he can hold the bag for me. And that'll be the person that'll put you on. You know what? You don't need to hold bags no more. Yeah. You feel me? Here's Facts. how to get a bag. Because yeah. now your foot's not, because your, fo- your is, foot is in that door. That was ready, though. No. But the thing about it is, that person had. Oh, their own drive already. They just was waiting for someone to actually give them. Of a course, drive. but but sometimes they don't have their own drive. Think about like an uncle who who see his nephew have you know being all this trouble. He's like, you know what? Let me just have my nephew ride around with me. And nephew's like, dang. You know I can get money like this too. Like this. It's, it, it's different. Way. The thing is, you, know, like you never know because like not intentional. Mm-hmm. And that's, and here's the thing is too, right? Now influence took, is real, man. I tell people all the time, bro, you got to get your foot in that door. Yes. Like, bro. for example, right? I would love. You got to be someone, though. Like, for yeah. example, I would love to work for 99. That, uh, that I like, I'm going to tell you, I would, I, would like, I would love to work for, let's say, 99 Gems, right? Uh, let's say, bro, they give me an opening. For left, janitor. For janitor. For janitor. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to take it. Yes. Because you're in the door. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you got to be ready, though, when Why that not, opportunity bro? come. Because you, you can't have you, pride when you're on the way up. Like, when you're on the way up, you cannot have pride, bro. Like, yeah. what are you pride for about? Like, you ain't got nothing. about this little bit? You, you ain't got right. to have anything, bro. Yeah. But I get what you're trying to say. You want somebody to have their yeah, own motive. Right. More. Sometimes it's hard to get there by yourself. It, yeah, exactly. Even if you already like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be this, going to be that. But if you got no connections, it's kind of hard right. to get to where you're trying to go. Right. I understand you your work somebody that. Worth is, your network is your net worth. Yeah, yeah. When you're networking. You still got to work. Even so though being you, around the right people. It will help you out a lot. Yeah. That's what we're talking about as in, you know, <laughs> being around, you know, feathers of, fle- uh, feathers of a flock. Fe- what else? Slay. Slay. That's all your time. Yeah, yeah, that's big boy facts though. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, I'm, a, I'm a living testimony to all of this. Amen. Like, I, I give it a buck. Like, I, I give my testimony, bro. Bro, listen, I got into media through a radio, bro, all through networking and influence, bro. Yes. Somebody had his own cable network. 
He brought it to this church as a presentation. I said, I wonder I could put my show on your TV network. Mm. He did. From there on out, yo, you should help me promote the TV network. Yo, Neff, I got a 30-minute segment. Just 30 minutes on, on the radio. Want to do that for me? End up doing that. Did so good, they gave me an hour. Went from an hour to three hours one day. Mm. Went from one day to two days to three days. Oh, guess what? Oh, Neff, we got you on TV now. So, like, at the end of the day, right, you feel me? Yes, it, it starts... your own motivation that made you do that, though? Not only my own motivation, but, the right? but, the but at the same time, I can have automation in the world, but if I don't meet the right person, you, or the because like, what can you do? You feel me? Like at the end of the day, like you know, you need. It, it's called a If you have <laughs> no motivation at all, it you're not gonna get anywhere. That's of what I'm course. saying. I'm, I'm saying. saying, I'm saying the about that's it, not it always the case. It doesn't. The thing about it is, there's a lot of people that was in a position to get great opportunities that's for them too. to do what they needed to do. But I'm saying but the fact that they have no exposure. motivation. They got weeded out. And then the thing about yeah. it is, have you, I don't know how old you guys are, but you when you when you start trying to help someone mm -hmm. do better, and then you work, you try to work at it, work at it, work at it with them. And then the minute you stop saying, wait, it's like for me to give you a job, Help you find that like job. If you, if you stop and telling then every them, day I have to tell you, yeah. make sure you go to sleep. Like make sure you, you wake if you, up. If your motivation sure leaves you, with me, then yeah, you didn't yeah, have yeah. no motivation. Of course. Yeah. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. So my thing is like, yeah, when you when he when you saw that opportunity and you asked him and he said yes, and then the next right. time no, that was based you on showed up and he had motivation. He saw how good you were. He saw that you wanted this. And that's why he came to you and presented to you because I'm pretty sure there was other individual that he could have gave it to. Yes. But that was before you that slack off. Mm -hmm. My thing is, if you don't have a drive already, it doesn't matter who, who you hang out with. with. But even who if you, you have a drive, you got no connections, you, it's hard to get there. You might yeah. not get there. But not only that, the people that don't have no drive and don't have no more yeah, they, they don't want to fall off. No, but they have yeah. a circle of them too. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. true. You feel yeah, me? That's true. There's yeah. a lot of people that, yeah, that just ain't doing nothing. Exactly. They hang out with Drinking 40 ounces? Yes. Oh, all we and smoke we, but exactly. <laughs> that's all they that's, that's do. That's their circle. You that's yeah. their circle. I don't want so, that circle. So, yeah, so like we circle. grew out of that circle, bro. Like a they, slate worth. You, we were in those circles. Definitely. You grew out of it. You yes. Definitely. You gotta get it's, out of that circle. Because it's so easy to get caught up, bro. Yeah, man. It's so easy to do what everybody else is doing out there, bro. Yeah. The moment you stand out and you start doing something different. Believe it, bro. Like people, listen. It's a I've big learned, world, bro. I learned. I've learned, man. Yeah. I've learned that Definitely. whatever, whatever drive, yeah. whatever God has blessed you with, man. Like you just use it to the to the fullest. Yeah. No matter how you know what I'm saying it may look now, use it to the fullest. Like God has been doing some marvelous things in people's lives that I've seen, mm -hmm. and it's like, yo, you gotta be faithful whatever God has given you, yes. even if it doesn't look the way that you want it to look right now. But just know that, bro. Yo, God has given it to you. Don't give up on it. Because in one, in one year, bro, there's so many things that got to happen in one year. Mm -hmm. What God can do in one year. Yes, bro. I've seen that, bro. Like, it, he can do that. But you just got to stay motivated and oh, hungry. Have y'all ever seen that picture of the two people that's, like, chipping away? Chipping at yes. the diamond, trying to get to the yes. diamond. The boy found the little one and thought he won, but he had a hundred of it. A whole bunch yes. of health. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, it's about, you got you got to have that extra step to keep going, man. That's real. Like, you never know, like, even if it ain't happening today, don't ever be discouraged by your current situation. Believe and have faith in that the fact that these doors will open up for you because it's with that belief that's gonna make you continue to go knock on those doors. Mm -hmm. I agree. Once I agree. you start, once you stop believing, you stop getting up to go knock yep. on doors. So mm -hmm. you gotta keep believing and keep gotta rocking, keep man. So we're gonna take this first little break. We're gonna come back to what break. you got. Get it popping. All right, man. So uh, <laughs> welcome, bike in. So we got this game that we like to play called What You Got, man. What you got? We gonna run through these. This, we gonna run through these. You know, head to head, Mortal Kombat type conversations, and I want to see who y'all <laughs> picking, right? <laughs> Finish him. Finish him. Uh, All right. So what fatality. you got? Out of these two here, what you got? Jet skis or ATV ride? I don't really care for both. I, I like ATV. I'm mm. ATV ride? It's just. Like the four wheel on the Okay, I'll take that. I don't do water. I don't do water. It's scary, bro. You don't know what time. The only time I do water when I'm taking a shower. I don't do water. I don't because I can't swim. So if I fall, I fall on land. Otherwise, I'll get you by a shark. That's still going to hurt, though. I'll be all right. I'll stop right there instead of sink. So I'll do it too. Yeah, I like to stay on land. Yeah, yeah. Water's scary, bro. One for sure. All right, next one, next one. What you got? Going out to eat or home cooked meals? 
I like home cooked. I like home cooked. It depends who cooks. Oh yeah. I, see, okay, I go. I'm gonna go with home cooked cook, home cooked meals. Um, There's nothing like a nice fresh food. spaghetti with a zibri. You feel me? Ooh, Ooh, especially if you have olive oil in it yeah. and stuff. Mm, that's Judy, what I you speaking that language, dude? Woo! Woo! Uh, you keep talking like that. I'm gonna shoot some more, Judy. Go ahead. Olive oil in it. All right, next one. Next one. What you got? Stock market or cryptocurrency? Oh, stock market. I'm going to do the, the stock, stock right now. Because the crypto. I think it's too volatile. The crypto, like, you never know. Like, I think you should put some money in crypto because you never know it might blow. Mm -hmm. But the stock, you can kind of learn it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so I'll, I'll, I'll pick stock. It's more yeah. safer, even though they both risky. Yeah. That's okay. Good. I'm yeah. still practicing. Next one. What you got? Burger King or McDonald's? They got King. King. Yeah? I don't know, though. That's a when big one. When I was one. younger, it was McDonald's, but now it's Burger King. When I was younger, it was Burger King. I used to get the little the little pamphlet, you know, with the little cartoons and stuff in it. But I don't know, dog. I don't know. That's kind of hard. Yeah. I'm yeah. not crazy about either, but if yeah. I got I don't even But you know what? I, yeah. I'm going to go with BK because you can't. When the Whopper came out, bro, it was exclusive. Mm -hmm. Whopper or the Big Mac. That's, that's, even come with cheese, bro. Like, <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I, I I don't like McDonald's, man. I ain't eat McDonald's in like seven, eight years, bro. God yeah. bless. McDonald's gets you sick. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. Expeditiously. Plastic fries. Bro, you know it. Bro, it, but yeah, yeah, it'll get you sick, though. Give me a That's the only bread. thing over that night, man. <laughs> right. I don't see nothing wrong with it. What you got? What you got? American gospel music or Haitian gospel music? Oh, Haitian, Haitian. gospel music. Yeah. No question. Uh, I don't know. Haitian gospel music. I, I, I love the man oh. wearing the two Haitian flags on his neck. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Hey, the point. irony. <laughs> the, no, the uh, irony, right. though. I'm just saying, the uh, irony. Listen, I right, shout out to all my zoes, bro. Like, But some of that gospel music I've heard, I don't know, bro. Nah, they hit harder. Oh, yep. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know where you know Bless the Lord, all my soul. Like, hey, that's a dope what? song. That's a that's dope song, song, but come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> you got, you got, you feel me? You the got a Haitian um, version better than that, though. Whoa. Exactly. There's a Haitian version there? Mm hmm. How you don't know that? I don't know the Haitian version to the best one of them. Hold on, old school ones, there's a Haitian version. Like, yeah, okay, no. okay, if you say oh, old school, ones, like, okay, like, I'm gonna, yeah. stuff, no. okay, here's the thing. If you say old school Haitian, I, I got the old school. Yeah. There's so much technicals with you, Nev. <laughs> that's what happens. See, that's what happens when I hang out with women. That's what happens when I hang out with women. Yeah, I get technical, bro. No, I'm not technical. It's not I do Haitian because no, it brings bro. back memories like childhood. It okay. Brings, it brings me back. You like know, some, like GP, are you with me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We got bro, I don't no. know, bro. That's a Haitian <laughs> song. Like, you know, you didn't know the meeting when you was. Yeah, we were little. Right. 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 Hey, I'm going to go with the Haitian song. I was singing today in church. I had to tap the guy in front of me. Cause even though I don't reach on these ones like that, but I still mm -hmm. have one. Right. I'm Haitian, you mm -hmm. know. So I, sh I, I like to church with it. I like it because of the I colors. The guy in front of me, I'm like, <laughs> can you can you look for it for me? Which which one? Because you know they have the the uh, different colors. The, they, yeah, the I was like, what did he say? Um, 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 which one did he say? He said, okay, I got you. So he went to go find it, and I'm walking. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna learn this song today. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I, okay, I'm gonna go with the Haitian one. Yeah. Oh, uh, we didn't wanna. I will. I will <laughs> sit here. Can't lose, man. That's I the only one he can come with. I will sit Yeah, I like that. He just said, "Pale pour moi, Seigneur, pale pour moi." Pale pour moi. Last one. Last one. <laughs> the Simpsons, a Family Guy. Family Guy. <laughs> I got Simpsons all day. I do not laugh at Simpsons. I got Simpsons all day. Family Guy. Family guy. Family guy. I got Simpsons <laughs> all day. I'm, 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 I'm the like... reason why is because Lemp the Team when I ain't have cable. So Simpsons I used to watch the Simpsons. So. Bro, Bart Simpson, Lisa. Nah, it wasn't. Nah, nah man. Yeah, like, Simpsons oh, started it. Yeah. I, I won't take that for I got it, bro. Da, 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 but it does da, not da, da, mean da, I will watch a whole da, episode da, da, da. of Simpsons and not laugh. But Family Guy? Oh, yeah. Family, 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 family Guy is funny. So relatable, dog. I got, I got Simpsons, man. Yeah, no. Family Guy is so relatable. I think it's a nostalgia. I'll go with the Simpsons. Family Guy is I got Simpsons, though, bro. Go again. Like Who loves the cookie like mark? Like, <laughs> so bad. Ah, Pooh. Duff, beer. Oh, Mr. Burns. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Smithers. Oh, so uh, uh, Mo. Mo had his own bar. Yeah, you feel me? Bar. Yeah, his own and bar. Barney the drunk. Barney the drunk. <gasps> they kick him out. He's right there at the school. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. 
No, no, I know. I rewatched the whole 17 seasons of Family and got like 30 times. Yeah. That's the itchy and so scratchy shit. Sure. Yeah. I'm bad for laughing when you do. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> but Family Guy is funny. I'll give him that for real. Yeah. yeah. Family Guy is funny, but I got, I got Simpsons, bro. Classic. It's a classic. I, I'm buff with FPL. You gotta remember me. I never, I never got in a Family Guy. No, nah, it was it's funny, bro. Just oh, to let you know. It's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> By Jesus, yeah, right? By God. Yeah. Yeah, they I think that's the reason why. Oh, God, I don't skip it. They pick on everything. It's those that make me don't watch it. I know. It's It's like it's those look few episodes that I've seen them talk about. That's why you don't want. I get it. I get it. Trust me. Yeah, but I got into Family Guy before they went in on some of the Jesus God jokes. I'm like, dang, dog. <laughs> and, and your sister will tell you the truth. We're about to come out and stuff. Oh, yeah, sister, be prophesying. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy, though. Oh, all right, man. So, look, I wanted to ask y'all this second question, right? Is a man obligated to care for the woman he marries in the manner she's accustomed to? Oh, yes, uh, so. that depends. Depends like, on what the, what's the like. Let's say her father spoiled her. Yes. Are you supposed to come and spoil her? Yes. Or are you just gonna treat her how you want to treat her? If she was an independent woman and she was always doing stuff on her own, you ain't used to that. You want to start providing. Mm -hmm. Like, are you going to go into how she wants you to, or or what she's a like? Let me ask the question again. In that sense, is a man obligated to care for the woman he marries? In a manner she's accustomed to. Yes. We're going to have to be in the middle. Yeah. We're going to have to. Because what if the dad, with the way he spoiled her, let's say financially, and the man ain't up there with the daddy has financially, mm -hmm. well, what can he do? <laughs> well, yeah. Why would I? That's the thing. That's the thing. I nah, that's the, so what? So, so if the man not making money. That's like, why would I leave my daddy out? So if the man not making money like your daddy making money, but he making money. But not like I think daddy need to ask my daddy for love, love in a relationship. I think you need to ask. Saying y'all, y'all talk about y'all going you, financially. How do you get the person? How do you get the person first? You're gonna have to do what that girl loves. Thank and you. If that's what I so love, you was faking it. To faking get what? My no, see, then you don't love me. What there? It's, 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 <laughs> come on, there's, there's no compromise. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just hard. How, so how, you expect me to leave my dad? Treat me like. Oh, I'm, hey, not treat you bad. Bad. I'm not treating you bad. I'm not treating you bad, but I can't buy you a new car every two days. <laughs> My dad not buy me a new car. Thank you. No, but the thing is, yeah. so that's the example he's trying to that, say. Like, saying, let's yeah, say like, she's accustomed to that. That's what I'm saying. Let's say she's yeah. accustomed to getting a car every two weeks or whatever, you, right? That, I can buy you, you a bike every let's two weeks. Let's say every year. Young ladies out of your league. Then I think she's out of your league. Yeah, I think you should work on getting yourself. You see that? There. And then you will find. I don't agree. I don't agree. You see that? Wow. I think that that's a very good. Question. That is a very good question. Go into it. That's what we get. Because I, I know a lot of That's people are gonna get. I know a lot of Ridiculous. people are gonna get mad because I'm about to say Haitian. Yeah. A lot of Haitian men have that mentality that okay, I'm going to treat you how I want to treat you. No, you. The thing about it is, then marry your daddy then. Please then why? Like my daddy. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, that. Yeah. Marry your daddy then. My, That's because the reason why. That's why it's two sides to it. But why? Because, it's, because it's, why are you gonna come and never here's the thing. To me. But here's the thing though. You, have you know to, you can't afford to it's take care of me the way that I'm supposed to be taken care of. But you know what? But here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. Right? Here's the thing. It was, was, this, is, this is what I don't understand. You want your daughter to your mom cooking go be with you some good meals. You you gonna go marry a girl that's not gonna cook for you at all? You, you gotta, gotta no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah. wait, 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 wait. But that's you don't have to be able to cook as good as my mom had to cook. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you thank like you. No, all right. Even if she's better, better. You better try. You better try. You better try. Okay, you better try. Try so my woman gonna that's try the, to cook exactly. that's the, but she can't. You fighting, but who's on camera? Oh, <laughs> she, can't, she, can't get she don't want to be on camera, but she got a lot to say. Yeah. Wait a minute, hey, see, okay, <laughs> Esther, that was a good example though, because if the dude is accustomed to his mama like making some good meals and all that, Shock and let's say she ends up, you know, so let's I, say I, he, I just if the if the mom right is cooking for the son. Like some good food, nice seasoning, all that, all of that, yeah. right? You feel me? Here's the thing, though, right? As a man, right, I would love for my wife, you feel me, to cook good like my mom's. But let's be real. She's not going to ever be in the same level as my mom's because nothing going to try. She's going to try. That's the right? thing we Okay, about. cool. So, therefore, I believe that if the brother knows that this young lady is spoiled by her daddy financially, right? You feel me? 
you got you have to step up and try. You feel me to spoil her, but you're not gonna meet the same you know level as the dad because no, so, so like, you're talking about some let, sauce wine. Let I don't pay your mom to make you some sauce wine. Let, let me hear this, let me hear the argument again. No, that's though, what like, I'm saying. In sure. regards to what he mm. just said, like you you guys were saying that the man, that means the woman's out of his league. Yes, I don't like that. It was a joke. She, I, I was that serious. She's that. serious. So yeah. she's saying that since you can't buy me a car every two days, <laughs> you can't be with me. That's not even though we're not talking about two days. No, no it's an example. My bad. Every, 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 every other yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Take us. If I can buy you a motorcycle, right, which is less than a car, mm -hmm. that won't be satisfying for so you. So look, this is the thing. This is why I wanted to go back to it. If you're saying like the man's out of her league. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the man has to approach the woman. Yes. If that woman lets him in, he's not out of. She's not out of his league. But that's what. what no, no. What that's what I said. I said listen, if you. That's listen, what I was agreeing listen, with. Listen, Esther. Listen, 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 listen. So, <laughs> after you you begin and you see who this man is, mm -hmm. obviously before you opened up, if you had a man like your father treating you like that, your eyes should be open to be able to understand who's a man and who's not. Mm -hmm. So you let this man come into your life. You can't be expecting him to do what he, you know what he can't do. Because mm -hmm. it's not like you were blindly letting him in. You know exactly who he is. So, like, he's not out of your league if he's with you because you allowed him to come in. Right. If I come to you and you deny me, then, yeah, she was out of my league. Right, there you go. No, I you think it's because the fact that you're like, you're, um, you took an example as of, like, um, financially taking care of her. Mm -hmm. The okay. thing about it is if you can approach her, Showing off that you could take care of her <laughs> financially, you mm -hmm. giving her stuff that her dad could provide for her while she was living at her dad's house. Yeah, you played yourself. You played yourself. Of course. That's what I mean about out <laughs> you of played, your league. You but I'm yourself. saying if you treated her as like a princess because her yes. her dad treated her like in a the princess. Be, in the best now you treating her like a queen. Yes. Because she's your queen. Yes. She's not gonna have a problem that you can't afford to buy her that car is that bicycle. Because she loves you and she knows, okay, you're going to buy her the best bicycle out there. Okay. But the thing about it is a lot of guys, they right, so play themselves. They reach so far and fake it. I understand a lot of guys think that the girls want fake, fake hair and this and that. You could tell all the stuff that's fake on her when you see. What the no. But a lot of the... No, I'm saying some some lace wigs look real on people. Yeah. <laughs> but after a couple of days of being with Let's that person, that take you know. <laughs> but the thing about it is, a lot of guys, <laughs> and I fell victim to that. A lot of guys, what did I say? Both, both, um, uh, both, um, uh, what is that stuff? Boyfriend? Like, no, not boyfriend. Um, when they pretty much fake it. Uh, um, fake it to you, man. No, the, the Haitian word I'm trying to find. You feel? It, no, that is it, it, stronger when you say like it. Like your pastor no bit is? No, not pretty only pastor no bit is. It's pretty much they fake it so hard mm -hmm. that they make themselves appear to be something that they're not. Yeah, you played yourself. Because the thing about it is a lot of guys, because what they have to, they show up with the car. The car might be their friend car or their cousin car or whatever. That's yeah. a lame. But the thing about it is, yeah. yes, a lot of them even lie about you know, their but birthday, saying, whatever okay, it is that they have to buy. But they never about their birthday. That's weird. And I'm like, the man, though, like, for like, example. But shouldn't I'm the woman be me. able to see that by now? No. Not always. A lot of the no. guys, a lot of guys. Because they're easily influenced by them lies. No. No. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. that, that. That's crazy. Mm. If if I'm dating a woman that's borrowing clothes and stuff, eventually I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. Really? What happened to them fans that you wore three, three, three months ago? How much time you spend together? <laughs> That's how much time you spend. Are you all up in her house? Or are you yeah. Here in the conversation. No, I'm just saying, like, if, like, if you get to a point like where where Judith is probably going to, like, like a man finessing, faking it until he makes it. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe he done married the chick and got her pregnant. She's like, stuck. you should have seen that before you allowed that next step to happen. There's people, there, there are some individuals. There are some individuals. It's like they got. Fat thighs, and nah, you know, you can't be that good. Bro. You can't be that good. <laughs> the not, thing, not, no, there, there's a lot of long. people. Yeah, not, yeah, not that long. That, no, yeah, that's, that's that's what I'm getting to. Yeah, like, that's, I'm asking, that's a lot. No, I'm asking friends about who you are yeah, and stuff exactly. like that. Like I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna, I thought that's what I'm gonna do. I thought that's what I'm gonna do. That same friend already knows that he's gonna get with you. I'm gonna ask girls, not men. I'm not gonna ask another man about another man. Of course not. A lot of times, yeah, girl. So, so she gonna ask another woman? 
Huh? You actually another woman? Yeah, that's they, you know they, they 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 trust more women. Girl code. Yeah. <laughs> so, Nev, you got a file out here, bro. I will have, I'm just, I'm you have I'm a file, bro. Another woman. <laughs> right. You may, you may not woman know it, but me. you have a file out here that women tap into. Like, yeah. tell me this about Nev. Facts. We all as men. No, I don't mind. I know. I understand that. That's I'm just saying that. Like, but the thing is, though, is like the because like I've heard different. I heard women ask. Dudes about another dude. No, I because don't and, and, well, because no no because the way the way she finessed the dude to, to get the information that she want. Mm. Because other women, bro, like because like there are women like women like to talk. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes oh, yeah, the a lot of guys talk. Okay, but uh, Judith, stop. Like said, my son. <laughs> stop, Judith. All right. <laughs> when I was <laughs> my son, this girl, bro. But like the thing is, though, there's some women, bro. Like they'll talk, they'll say all the negative things about the dude just so that you don't try to get with her because she want him. Like I've seen that before. I've seen that before. No, like look, I right now, whoever you follow, I'm gonna look at who we both follow. Mm. Okay, yes, I'll go to a mutual. Like that. That's yeah. real. Yeah. Somebody I know you. Who did Point that blank. Is? Or Google. Yeah. <laughs> I had Google too. I right, so let, let me ask you guys Candy to records. go right back to that spoiled question, right? I I, I guess I want to end it here. Um, we understand that a father that spoils his princess is picking her up, you know what I'm saying, letting stuff slide, letting her lie, and you act like you don't know that she lying, like, that's true, <laughs> and actual financially, yeah, what are you expecting a man to do in regards to spoiling you as his wife, how does a man spoil a wife, is what I want to know, are you saying if that wife, no, I'm asking, as a liar, no, no, I'm saying, like, spoil, like, that was, like, that was the way that the father spoiled, how should a, how should a, man, how should a man spoil his wife? First off, find out what type of liar she is. You stuck on a lion. Yeah, you stuck on a lion. <laughs> liar. Okay. Oh, you a liar? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. I, I, the, the minute I find out you lie, I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> Why would I lie? I'm not trying to get away with lies and stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm but like, I don't want because as a as an adult myself, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want him to let me get away with stuff that's Thank gonna you. harm me as okay. a person. Cause yeah. let's say he passes away, Thank I'm not you. gonna get away with lying and puppy dog eyes with some random people that are like, "Oh, sorry, Ben, can I please get along?" I agree. Mm -hmm. Like you know, if I mm -hmm. if I can't manage money, I need him to tell me. Yeah, you learn how to manage some money. Yes. Cause I'm a grown up now. Yeah, yeah. Okay? I don't want to spoil me and yes. treat me like a little girl. Yeah, say, yeah. I'm supposed to be a grown up. Cause the dad gonna point. always Thank treat their little baby like, like a little, little baby. Girl. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful that you said that because I want women to understand this as well. I'm asking for the men too because some men don't know because men are just going off of what the reaction is. Yeah. Like, so I do this, me, she likes I guess, it. To me, spoil means when you know that, okay, let's say I can cook real well, mm -hmm. but we're both coming home from work and it's probably my day to cook. Which mm -hmm. like, let me mm -hmm. cook for her. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I could take care of myself, yeah. okay. and I know it's my responsibility, and I'm not a brat saying, I don't care if it's my turn to cook. I ain't cooking for him. Yeah. But he's like, like let know me know cook like for her instead. Chocolate. Stop by the store. And get yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. That's, that's that's all all yeah. That's all yeah. Like, that's that's like that. That's kind of spoiled. Not it doesn't like, have to be a car every other day. Exactly. <laughs> no, I know. I just want to let go. My, my, and the boys, like, what I think how a man's supposed to spoil their wife is with love and backup. Yes. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Security. Ooh. Back yes. me up. Whatever she fall short on, mm -hmm. that's where you step up at. You yeah. know what I'm you see, I, I, look, I, I, so. I'm, I'm sorry for all the disagreement. Uh, <laughs> nah, you good. That, that word right there, you got me back, back up. up. I, like yeah. I never heard that by the I back. want you right. to back me up. Yeah. I know my strength. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to be weak in your arms when it's time for me to be weak in Facts. your arms. Yes. And you say to me, Facts. babe, guess what? We're going to go you. kill them. And I know we're not going to go kill them for <laughs> real. But, but, but you, you like, you backing to... me up. Uh, like, yeah. yeah, I'm mad. Like, you know how many times I call Gabriel and I'm on the phone? I'm like, rah, 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 rah. Nah. He's like, nah, man, they shouldn't do that. And he pumped me up. And then next thing you know, he's like, oh, we're going to let it go, right? I'm like, nah, yeah, we're going to let it go. Like and that. I let it go because I'm like, see, but I, if he was my man and he's doing that for me, you yeah, like I that. feel like I'm a, you a super power. Super, See, yeah, my, yeah. my girl, right? You feel supported. <laughs> I want to get my job. Mm -hmm. We work together. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Well, I'm outside. She inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. I at the job, a lot of like the bosses don't really mess with her because they, they know, know you, I'm her yeah. backup. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because she's quiet. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know, bosses like to run over the quiet people, especially mm -hmm. if you're a good. Put in the work, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When I'm a good worker, 
but I'll talk. You get sus when? Oh, yeah. You let Especially them know. when she comes to me, hey, this guy, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's going on? I heard da 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 da. Yeah, you gonna you get it. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, to yeah. the point, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you feel me? So they, they yeah. be like, you know what? She got back up. Let me just chill. Yeah. And I see like the people that pick on females that don't got no backup in there. Yep. And I'm like, they don't got no backup. That's yep. all it yeah. is. You feel me? So, yeah. So like, yeah. I ain't backing just what anybody love, up though, bro. What I love though is with all, that woman, you're not gonna back her up. No, no real quick. I will back up my girl. Let, 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 I'm gonna let, 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 let you take off, Victor. I just want to say this. I just the three people that spoke in regards to spoiling. None of y'all mentioned cash. I, oh, I don't. No, no, what I'm saying, oh. of course, cash is of a part course. of it. Yes, yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying, like that's that's that. That's, I guess that's what, what true love. Was, that's what yeah. men and women need to understand. So that that's, that's that, everything you just those said. Are gems. Those are I gems. I could go get that. Drop, I could go get that money because yeah. if me knowing that you my backup, if I had to spend five minutes or whatever screaming and yelling, mm-hmm. it's not gonna last a whole day. Yeah, yeah. Because Ooh. I'm gonna be done with it. <laughs> Never because I know that you got me, even though you probably not gonna do nothing about it. You already forgot all about what I just said. Nah. But the fact that my mindset he got is me. reset yeah. to yeah. like, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm back. Instead yeah. of me sitting there thinking about this situation and so how I'm going to handle it. I love you, man. saying don't worry about it. It gives you some words of affirmation. No, yeah. I just want yeah. my man to tell me he, he got me. Oh. Exactly. Don't worry about it. I All right, Jules, I got yeah. you. You good. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. It's just the lucky. Hello. He look away. You saw how quiet he was, too. He's like taking notes. He's like, sliding. Oh, really? That's <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you, Judith. No problem. I got you. But that's that's how I say the word, that's it, man. You feel me? That's it. Leave Judith alone, man. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. They're trying you. All right, what are you? Let's pull up. But. You got to have the right woman, do. That's yes. right. That's, that's what I'm about to say. Put, that's not going to test nah, you. Now, here's that the thing. That's not going to test that you. That will take advantage of it? Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's what I'm going to tell you. That's why she can't be no liar. That's on that. Go look for trouble. That's why she can't be no liar. You know what I'm saying? That's why. Yeah. She can't be no liar. No, no, no. What you call it? That's what I'm about to say. I ain't going to back up anybody, though. Because there's some there's some people I've seen, bro, they take advantage of that, right? And the thing is, too, like, the person looks stupid. Yeah. Because now, you you know, you're defending somebody, bro, who's causing the issue. Yeah. Totally but the thing is, sometimes no, yeah. it's not that you shouldn't. Okay, yeah, I agree, you shouldn't be with somebody like that. But at the same time, man, you're not man. You, when the person comes to you and they tell you you don't know what's going on, the first information you get from the person is what you're gonna keep. You gonna run because with you it. don't that's know. Your, that's your it's not even yeah. keep. You gonna run with it. Yeah, yeah. Head first. But me, no, I've learned to be very analytical. It like, took you I, a while though. But we talking about nah. initially. Like, yeah, yeah. Took a while. But huh? me, like, I, okay, okay. It took me a while. Now that I'm now that I've learned, I'm like anything like if my girl tells me something, like I follow patterns. I follow I follow tessellations. Like if I ask you what happened twice and there's a and you change your story twice, I'm like something's wrong. Something different. Cause yeah. like it has to be consistent. There's gotta be a consistency. You feel me? Bro, there's a there's a whole lot of, there's a lot of people dead right now. Because yeah. of that. Because, because of, yeah. there's a lot of people dead. Because, because, because false there's accusation. There's a lot of young bro. men right now that are yeah. dead. Perfect and example. still beefing, still yeah. killing each other that's, off a chick, bro. That's real. Every album was died, bro. No lie, for a female. What I heard was the dude kissed her. But really, it was mutual. But I'm listening to what the female said. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like so he, he took advantage of. Exactly. That's what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. So me, once you said, "Oh, this," I'm head first in it. You know what I'm trying well, to say? Well, I apologize for her. But what? Because, no. because the thing about it is, there's a lot of females that want that, and that would have been telling the truth. There's a lot of females that get stuck with guys. Like, it's the worst. I just came from a situation mm-hmm. that I had Gabriel, I had uh, uh, um, uh, Jesse. We get it. I had a whole <laughs> bunch of people that, I had a lot of my guy friends mm-hmm. that stepped up uh-huh. to back me up. But if I didn't have them in my life, I would have been like so screwed because guess what? A lot of time when people are messing with you, it takes one man. It, it doesn't matter how you know strong ground, I am man. as a woman, but it's, I just it's just sad. It, it, took, up. it took one man. I'm literally trying to speak to someone, and Pastor Gabriel grabbed the phone and he's like, "Hey," and he's talking, and it's like things got done. 
But the thing about but, it is, like, if if I have someone that I know, I could call that person and say, but, hey, babe, but, blase, blase, blase. But, Lloyd, I take advantage of I, that. I, 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 that's fine. Lloyd, I understand what Judith is saying. But the thing is, it's like, but we, like I said, I understand what Judith is saying, but we got to be, like I said, bro, for all the women out there, and, like, and fellas too, you got to be careful, man. Like, don't put, don't position yourself in certain situations. Like, it's not even like, for example, like, I'm the type of person, bro, like, if you put yourself in a position, you won't even have to be the guilty one or the oppressor or the aggressor. But you in if it. you, because you're in that position, you in that's, that's a problem for me. Yeah, yes. Remove yourself, bro. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, like, for example. And these young I, is dumb right now, boy. Yeah, yeah because, like, bro, like, bro, I don't, I don't, don't want to get into yeah, stuff no. like that. You don't even see it coming. You don't, you. Ch- yeah. I don't want to be with someone that's going to put me in a harm way. Knowing. You put him in a harm way. And the thing is, so, bro, because I've seen it so many me. times, bro. Like, well, you way. tell the girl, stay away from him. Yo, stop it. And it's like, no, no, no. And it's like, the girl now, in the hospital. Now, you thinking that he messing with her. And, yeah, know. and the thing is, too, so it's like, bro, let's be cooling. real. Like, no, let's be real. Bro. What other man tell another man to stop doing to this girl? Like, bro, if I tell my sister or whoever, like, chill, well, you still don't listen to me, what can I do now? What am I going to do? That's Honestly. Facts. I'm going to yeah. pray what? fast, That's probably. What? But at the end of the day, what can I do now? I told you, stay away. The family told you. We spoke to you. Mm-hmm. We show you the record. We show you what he did before, and you still going over there. I'm not backing you up no more. Yeah, that's what you say. Gotta be. You still better pull up. <laughs> so what? See, that's the thing. Killed. No, I'm not. I, I know. Bro, listen, I'm y'all the type of person. Heard, look, no, no, no. That, there's a story called. Crying. I remember that part what you just said. Crying about wolf. You, it's all about. Yeah. 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 I don't want to cry. Listen, Judith. Yeah, I remember sorry. that part. I'm, I don't want that. Once you part. start realizing that's a, and that's you a crucial telling that person story, to bro. stop uh-huh. and stop and stop and stop. When you need that help. Yeah, it ain't gonna it ain't be no way to find it. Yeah, and it's like it's not like I want death for that person. It's like, bro, we've spoken to you. Mm-hmm. You're an adult. You know what it is. Like, like you. No, I know what you're saying. I, mean, you I agree with you're saying. How like hard headed people can be. They have to see it for themselves. Well, I want oh, them yeah. to solve them. But how many times? But times how many times? You gotta yeah. bump your head. Like the think about it though. Like it's sad because like no lie, I've seen situations like this. Like bare, like bare hand, bro. There's people in it right now, that's bro. Watching, like bro. they literally, bro, go back to that person, knowing damn well you are gonna be in danger zone. Yes. Right. And then yeah, you're calling your relatives to come back you up. We can't. Sorry. See, Pastor Gabriel has said something to me. Uh, one uh, oh, a meeting that uh, him. That's my problem. That's my yeah. problem. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ye
you see what happened, you see the handcuffs and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And guess what? You still go back to that person. Mom spoke to you, dad spoke to you, no live from an IT palavo, no prayer avec you, we do everything and you still go back. Now I'm gonna pull up and do what? What I'm saying? That's in the back of their mind, they know you're gonna answer. But look, let me ask you a question. People call people, they know they're gonna call, they're gonna answer. Let me ask you a question though, Neff, like when you go to the funeral of this person, that's are you, are you, that's how you gonna feel? No, because, I'm because he's not the one that pulls the trigger. Then if I'm not the... Listen. Listen. That sucks. Listen. That's when I pull up to the funeral. Bro, what's, what's I, you I, I'm I'm pull up to the funeral. I'm pulling up to the funeral. My mama there. My mama there everything there. I'm like, you dead. I agree with you. I mean... I, I agree with you. How many times y'all done see, said on this podcast that love make people do stupid stuff? Yeah, yeah love make people do see, stupid I, stuff. I understand what he's saying. What about you, Sean? Like, I don't like my sister, but I still love her. It's not about I don't like my sister. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I'm saying for me. Oh, I don't like, like, I understand what you're saying until to the funeral part. I don't like my sister, one of my sisters, but I still love her. Of course. I won't not, won't, like, I wanted want something bad to happen to her. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying as in the whole funeral part, I'm not going to want to see her in the casket. So me, I'm gonna back it up just cause I love her. No, that's the nah, problem. No, I mean, okay, okay, I'm gonna go a little personal. No, uh, like I said, not one time out of my mouth. And again, we're not Hold talking on. about casual people. Like, yeah, we're not one time. Individual. We all have no, individuals in our lives. Like not that. one time out of my mouth, I said I want harm. Evil or any type of destruction. No, no, no. For my hold on, hold on. Get poly, get poly, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Now, one time I said I want harm or destruction no, sir. upon my siblings. No, sir. That at all. Yeah. Of course, but what I'm saying that. is that, bro, I'm telling you, if it there are like some that. people. You have seen it to that like, level. I've seen it to the level where it's like, bro, there is nothing you can do. Even if you pull up, right? It's like you're just there just to be there. So now you know what happens? You end up being an actual personification of a bulletproof vest. So your sister doesn't get shot. So now instead of so now you got the bullet holes, right? Over a situation that has nothing to do with you. After you don't told the person to stay away and they don't want to stay away. What do you do then? Be the vest. Okay, I okay. I'm gonna share something. I'm gonna share something real quick I'm gonna share something real quick with you that's let personal. Me, let me just respond to Neff though. Like and I do agree with you. I think I in, in that regards, like, it, it gets very We're deep. Down. And me, myself, I just pray that that's not how it goes down. Uh -huh. um, I do want to preface it by saying, every time I come, I need you to understand what situation you are in. And if you continuously go to this situation, then I, I have to at a point tell you, I may not be available for you. What you going to do then? Uh -huh. So you need to start asking yourself, do you want to keep putting yourself in these situations? And every time, I'm always feel like that's the last time I got to tell them this because now they get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, that's, yeah, I feel what you're no. saying. I, um, I feel what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, what he's saying. Okay. I feel what you're saying, too. Though. I do. Yes, right. Personal it's level. It's okay. real deal, bro. Mm -hmm. Literally. Okay, I was, a um, long time ago when I was young, I was dating a guy. And um, several times, we had, like, get little arguments with each other and stuff. And he did the whole pulling me a little tight and all these other stuff. Red and, flags. Um, and, I believe and it started like that. Red flags. And then, and then one day, you he hit me. Team. So I called my sister, and I'm like, Nikki, I can't Coward. believe this dude did this. And I'm, you know, telling her about all this stuff. She started pulling out all these red flags that I should have seen before, you know, that I got so deep with this guy. Mm -hmm. Again, it happened. Threw me against the... Uh, uh, um, bathroom, bruise, oh, everything. Wrestling? Yeah, it was bad. Tried to leave him, left for a couple of days. Went back. Went back. One day, I'm I'm down here visiting Nikki, and we, like, talking with each other and stuff, and then he said something slick to me. My sister Nikki said, you're not going home with him, you sing, because she just saw the rage. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not going anywhere. I was sitting there. He grabbed me by my ponytail and started Dragging me. Nikki come ready to fight. He was squaring up to fight with her. And even though I took this dude back so many times, the fact that I saw that he was ready to hit her. It made you, yeah. I was like, mm -mm. That was a wake-up call. Because not only, I, I didn't say with him because I, was, I didn't love myself. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is I was in so deep. Before that whole situation started happening, I, I, I was do, giving him I do want to say that you did not love yourself. No, that's the thing. I loved myself. No, I'm saying you did not. At not that moment, you no, that's, yourself. that's what I'm saying. The reason I'm telling you this is because you came out of that situation, but there's people that's still in the situation. 
if you're still in a situation that sounds like this, you don't love yourself. No, that thing about what I'm saying. If you allow yourself to go through I, these things, listen, you do not I don't love know, yourself. I that's kind of tough. That's kind of tough to say. That's you know, because everybody's situation no, is no, different. No, no, no. What, if you getting beat by no, somebody, no, that's getting not the thing. Beat, the thing about it, you don't love yourself. The reason. thing about it, the thing about it is, it's like until that happened to me, until that happened to me, I've been around people that. You know, we all know some Haitians and yeah, growing yeah, up yeah, and stuff you, you, that's you, always you. getting their slap on and stuff like that. I had so many adults, people that I was going to, cousins, people that I looked up to. That were experiencing the same things? experiencing that. I was telling me, oh, it's nothing. Oh, no. oh it's this mm -hmm. and that. To the sure. point that giving a chance and a chance and a chance and a chance, I, I knew that, dang, I'm putting my sister in harm way. Not only I'm putting myself in harm way, mm -hmm. but the fact that I know my sister was ready to fight for me, mm -hmm. and he was ready to fight her too. Now that, that was the wake up call. They that was no. like, oh hell no, nah. we mm -hmm. both was ready to beat him up. You know right. what I'm saying? But it's not like I didn't have that strength before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that a lot of time what he's saying is we see the red flags. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw them. Nikki didn't have to point them out. You were so but the fact love. that I was around people that was telling me it's okay it's because like it's he love you, he this, he's that. Environment. And he was showing me that you're around. So that's what I'm saying. About, yep. we want a lot of times when you're around people, <laughs> you have to make sure you're around the right people. Influence. So you, yeah, hey. you're not around the right yeah, people. Yeah, it looked like a commercial, he said. It comes for a certain Yeah. <laughs> it comes for a dream with it. No, but that's what I'm saying. But the fact that I had to know myself and yeah. I know who I was, I could have let, I could have, Said, okay, Nikki, well, I'm leaving, and I could have left with him and, 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 and not stay with Nikki. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. That was the Waco call, but, but so some people it's, don't just have let, it. it's just to let everybody that which is listening know now, man. Like, if you a man and you hit women, you a coward. Like, yeah. I heard Ken I going agree. in on that. Like, I, I, agree. I agree. Like, you if, can't, you, if you putting women in positions that you know that you got the upper hand and you continuously do this, that's what I'm saying. We like, always got the upper hand. I don't care. You a bunny, a female hit me, you I walk away. You a bunny, bro? <laughs> no, I don't even do that. I walk away. I don't be in none of that. You hit me, okay, that's fine. What I say is, bring a dude for me. Something. You feel yeah, me? Because if I you want to see me get beat up, tell buddy come beat me up. Because I'm going to fight. But I can't fight you because I know what I can do to you. Right. Yeah. I might accidentally kill you. Right. No, no yeah. come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? A rag doll. Like, <laughs> really? Oh, man. A rag doll? Really? Really? Like, really? Really? Yeah. really? I don't know if you know what a man's scruff <laughs> is. Yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. Uh, naturally. Like, like naturally, bro. Like, wow. Like, That's the thing. Again, I never put myself in that situation, but the thing about it is, a lot of time you don't know that you walk into that situation because there no, was so, there was ex and other people that he no, dated I'm that, you, that a, was telling me that, that I was women, lying. The fact I was that wrong. women are so easily influenced, I think that's one of the points that we got tonight. Men, if you a coward out here and women, like stop pointing these guys out, bro. Like we don't need any more men still beating on our mothers and beating on our family members, bro. Like you a man, don't hit no female, bro. Like that's. One on one, yeah. what you hitting the female for? But yeah. there's, there's females. I'm not saying for nah, don't provoke. Like, there's don't females, provoke. Bro. I was about to say for the females. I was about to get hit. But I was about to say women to don't say provoke the, the men. Yeah. Don't provoke. No, I'm not like, 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 no, 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 Damn. What I'm There's, saying, that is a whole nother right. conversation that we are not <laughs> get into. getting into the fact. We oh, not oh. getting into that tonight. It's true. Bro. I'm just saying, we, there we are women who provoke men. We, talk, we talked about it slightly, but we're not going to get into it tonight, man. But I do want to thank you guys for being tight. open and honest no. tonight. Thank you. Especially with the fact that you guys were actually sh sharing stories. You know what I'm saying? Like right. personal stories. I truly appreciate that, man. So... One time across the room, man. What's the gym for the night, man? As we ended out and send everybody on. We thank you guys for tuning in, man. Start with Neff. Oh, I'm sorry, brother Neff. I'm looking at the boy. I thought <laughs> I already like, said it. Oh, Big dog Neff, man. What you got for the people today? Um. Well, my last uh, gym for tonight is. <sighs> Listen, man. Um. We serve a big God. You know, a God who's a provider, man. You know who's more. You know who's more than enough. You know our Jehovah Jireh. You know, no matter how bad inflation is and gas prices going up, food prices, 
our God is still the same. So I want to encourage everybody tonight to stand firm on God's word, because at the end of the day, no matter how high and low the world may get or the economy may get, God is not moved or shaken by none of that. None of the stuff that's going on currently is a surprise to our Lord and Savior. And that speaks a lot. And the reason why that speaks a lot, that just shows us that at the end of the day, everything is, is, uh, is in his hands. And when you, really, when you put your faith and hope in him, you don't have to be worried about being moved by what's going on around you. It doesn't mean not to be aware, but not to be moved or shaken because know that God has everything under control. Know that he is God. Believe that he is God. Live accordingly that he is God. Despite of what people are saying in the media or what type of influences out there, you know what I'm saying, or saying about, saying about your Lord and Savior. Know that he is God to you. Read the scriptures and see what it is that he's saying. And also, too, keep in mind, when you read the word of God, it also reads you because it exposes you. It tells you who you are. So I want to let everybody know, like, I know people are panicking. People don't know what to do. Oh, my God, this is happening. Put your faith in the Lord. Like, just be at peace with God. You know, the marijuana can only do so much. The Hennessy can only do so much. Sex can only do so much. But when your faith is in Christ, no matter what's going on, you're at peace. That's my last job. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sister Judah? Um, I would say take the time to know you, who you are. And the thing about it is have faith that, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, that there will be a better day. Not just to say, okay, today's Monday, today's Sunday, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just know that your tomorrow is in God's hand. And you have to trust that he knows you well enough to know you, the original you. Mm -hmm. No one could come and say, I'm Judith. I can't show up and say, I'm Esther, even though I'm wearing the same hairstyle with her or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, a lot of time, we lose ourselves mm -hmm. chasing after copies of what people said that we are. Instead of knowing that, okay, this is me. This is who I am. We so easily the word influence that we've been talking about all night we saw so influenced by i've been influenced by people that want me to understand that i don't have to try that hard because i'm not gonna make it or it's out of my reach but the thing about it is they don't know how far god you know <laughs> could make me elevate for me to get wherever it is i need to go i mean and i'm not a tree and none of us are a tree. So you could always remove yourself from any situation that you feel like is not good to you. Mm -hmm. Because I want to be watered. I want to be taken care of and be around positive energy that's going to make sure that not only that I grow, but I always ask God, instead of me being mad at someone that did me wrong, mm -hmm. my prayer is always, I know you're going to use me Whatever it is that you have for that individual. Amen. Even if you have to use just a little bit of me, my time, or whatever it is that you need to use me, I want you to use me. And that, like, it helped me to stop being so angry and mad because it just watered me down. Hmm. And I need to always make sure that I keep my head above water and what I'm doing, the stuff that I know that I'm capable of doing that. I need to do for myself. So I'm saying, you know, have faith in God and have faith in whatever it is that you're planning on doing and make sure that, that you stay you at all time and stay in prayer. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, mm -hmm. My little diamond for the day is try not to be influenced and be the influencer. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you in a bad crowd, you know what I mean? Let's say you in a, a crowd that deals drugs. Try to motivate your people to start businesses and it might eventually steer them away from dealing drugs. Cause at the end of the day, they're trying to get money. So they're finding a different way to get money. So be the influencer, be the person that your friends look up to, be the person that your friends like to take advice from and be you. That's Amen. all I got. Amen, amen, Quinn. 
Um, I have mine, but I want to piggyback off of what Ken said about the dealing drugs. You know, drug dealers are actually excellent businessmen. Amazing. And sometimes they don't see it because they don't see themselves as Bill Gates or, or whatever. But I'm like, you're doing the same thing. You're mm -hmm. counting inventory, mm -hmm. um, dealing with price and cost and the, mm -hmm. the right type of customers and the Replenish. right locations to have mm -hmm. your, your dealers with street corners and your competition. Mm -hmm. That's True. business. Exactly. So <laughs> sometimes the best way to influence people to turn the bad to good is mm -hmm. remind them, you actually already got it inside of you. Mm -hmm. You just got to flip it to make it mm -hmm. the right way. But you're already a businessman. And if you help them see that, mm -hmm. you know, they're like, dang, dog, you, you're right. I am doing business, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. now you don't have to worry about the cops. Exactly. Stuff, so. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yeah, right. Just arrest. <laughs> if you, you still got to do the right way and always. You but too. Yeah. That's See, my this is why we need more influence. Right. Exactly. The so, the light. thank you guys for everything, man. We're going to end it out with the prayer. Big dog can say a prayer for us to end out the night, family. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing us all together today to speak about the word and enlighten people on what's going on and how to look at life in a different manner. I thank you for waking us up today. I thank you for covering us as we drive home and when we came here. I hope that you look after our enemies our friends, family, and make sure everybody don't succumb to what's going on in this earth right now. And then we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.